Hello again, Jim from Second Sight Video here, and I appreciate you watching our video. This is about depot views, um, depositions, that video depositions that are synced with the transcript. It's called depot view by InData. It's also referred to as digital video transcript or text sync sometimes. And uh, we've had some people call us with questions about how these disks are used. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through step by step as to exactly how you use this disk, because it's not complicated, but there is a certain procedure that you have to follow. Um, you have to copy the files from the disk to your computer, and you have to download the software from InData's website. And then once you've got all that on the hard drive of your computer, then you're able to successfully use the Depot View disk. So the first thing we do is we're gonna take the disk out and we're gonna put it in the computer. So we put the Depot View disk into the drive on our computer, um, preferably would be a DVD drive, which is what's in most computers these days. And uh, the first thing that you'll see, if you're connected to the internet, you will go directly to the InData website and it will um, tell you to download the Depot View software, which has been reserved for you by our company, Second Sight Video. Uh, what you want to do is you want to close that because you don't want to do that quite yet. Uh, what we recommend that you do is you copy the files from the disk onto your computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first go to my computer. What you should do is go to your computer and go to a place on your computer. Actually, I'm going to open up Windows Explorer and you should go to a place on your computer where you want to store the um, depot view video. And so I'm gonna do this for purposes of ease just on the desktop of the computer so that we can all see it. And you should just do it to a place where you can make sure you can get back to it and find it. And then you want to again go to explore. You want to open up or go to the disk, just click on the disk one time, and you'll see a series of files. Exhibits, import media, vendor, an auto run file, and some other files here. And what you wanna do is you wanna take those and you wanna copy them just as they are into the folder that's on your computer where you're gonna store the depot view deposition. So you take that and you're going to start to copy and it's going to take quite a while because, well, it should take a little while. It depends on your computer and it depends how long the deposition is. Um, it has to copy the MPEG files completely. So um, you want to go and, and copy all the files into that folder just as they are. Don't leave anything out. If you leave something out, it's not gonna work correctly. And then when you're done on the hard drive of your computer, you'll have a folder. You probably should name it for the deposition also. And that folder will have in it a folder called exhibits, one called import, one called media, one called vendor, an auto run exe file, and three other files. Um, while it's doing that, I'm gonna tell you what is in these various files. Exhibits is a folder that you can put exhibits in. When we provide a depot view disk, we don't generally have control of the exhibits. The court reporter generally does. So we, for the most part, leave the exhibits folder empty. Um, the import folder is <coughs> uh, got files in it that uh, can be used to import the um, synced video deposition and the transcript into various trial software. So if you have trial director, you'll use a certain file that's in here. If you have summation, you'll use a different file that's in the import folder. If you have other um, forms of trial preparation software, those will also be in the import folder here. Media 
is a folder that is very important. It has the actual MPEG files that have the video on it. Um, and so this will be the largest folder, the folder that has the largest files in it. Vendor just has the vendor information, not that critical. Um, Auto Run EXE is the program that runs the depot view program and the video with the with the transcript. Um, Auto Run INF is another uh, file that's um, needed, but is not too important to talk about right now. Um, the DVT file here, I believe, is the file that has the sync information between the video and the transcript itself. And uh, this last file here is the transcript itself. So once everything is copied on your computer, then you're ready to go. Okay, so once the copying has finished, you can go to the folder that you have your deposition in, your depo view video deposition. Uh, when you click on it, you can see that the folders are here and the files are here just as they were on the disk. Um, you can go ahead and remove the disk from your computer. Uh, the reason you don't want to play from the disk is that uh, the video just doesn't play well from the disk. It plays much better from the hard drive of your computer. So once you're here, then you click on the auto run exe file. And because there is no um, program on the computer uh, for uh, the depot view software, it's going to take you to InData's website and you are given a free invitation to download the software. So you have to do this. Um, you click run and it will begin to download and it downloads just the way um, a program normally downloads from the internet. Uh, the length of time is going to depend on your internet connection and uh, once it's downloaded you can you should install it and it will be installed on your computer. You will have a program called depot view as uh, in your program file and then you will run your depot view disk. Okay, so once the software has downloaded and you've installed it on your computer, you'll have depot view on your computer and it will automatically begin and it will um, bring in the media files, it will bring in the court reporter's transcript and they will work together harmoniously. And because you've copied all your files to the computer and you're not working off of that optical disk, uh, the program is going to work a lot better. If you try to go directly from the disk, it's going to stutter, it's going to jump around, um, it's going to take a long, long time, you're going to become very frustrated. So don't try to work with the program from the DVD or CD disk that we send you. Copy the files to your computer, download the software from the InData website, and then it's going to work like a charm. So it's Digital Video Transcript Depo View Disk. It's a great way to use a video deposition as part of your trial preparation, and it's available from us, Second Sight Video, your legal videographers. Um, if you have any more questions, our website is www.secondsightvideo.com. And I'm Jim Davidson. Please feel free to email me, jim at secondsightvideo.com. You can email my partner, Dave Weingarten, dave at secondsightvideo.com. We've been legal videographers for many years, and we would love to assist you with your next litigation. Thanks very much, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.